This is it. Just stop and think again about all the decision you took, the path you followed, the things you did. Never just for yourself. Always trying to make somebody happy, satisfied or whatsoever. Seeking approval in a world facing outwards and never in. Would you do it again? Think about it and then think again. Today, everything changes. I'll gather my courage and take the leap. Something heartbreaking happened lately in my life. And it was like a wake-up call. In the age of social media, we often do things seeking approval from our community, from people we barely know. Would you do the same thing if nobody was watching? Who are you doing things for? These are the things we should really ask ourselves. We don't need to justify, we don't need to explain, we don't even need to succeed. We just need to try. And during the process, no matter the outcome, facing discomfort, facing challenges, changes our internal compass, making us more resilient, stronger and balanced. I used to walk this forest, camera in hand, with my little wall. She was like a shadow to me always two steps in front of me, never far. A silent companion that was always by my side. I would spend hours seeking the perfect light, the perfect spot, sitting quietly, and she would just stay here with me. And she would patiently sit on the grass, observing everything around her. Then things changed. I couldn't find the time. I couldn't find that stillness in myself. I couldn't give myself enough space to nourish my needs. Somehow I lost myself along the road. It felt silly to pursue something that wouldn't lead me anywhere. As if going or getting anywhere was the point. I thought, if I do not excel, then why should I do it? But I think I was missing something in there. Now that she's gone, I can feel the wild part of her all around me in the forest, calling me. Deep inside the forest where everything is quiet, trying to tell me it's time to embrace my passion, no matter where it leads. He keeps saying, do it for yourself. Everybody should listen to that voice. It doesn't matter what it is. Pick up your brushes, go fix that motorcycle that's collecting dust. Write the novel you've always dreamed about. Climb that mountain and watch the sunset on the other side. But do it for yourself. It doesn't matter where it takes you. I realized I needed to embrace discomfort. I wandered through these trees so many times. But today something was different. Something was speaking to me. I grabbed my old camera the heavy and uncomfortable <laughs> gear that goes with it. They had followed me thousands of times and I headed out as I haven't done in so long. I wanted the process to be boring and frustrating as is it supposed to be, fighting the urgency of getting things done. Every time the settings are wrong, every time the camera pulls me down with all its weight while I try to hold it still, taking that impossible shot of the tiniest spider. With all the discomfort, it carries with it. Sometimes we just need to get through the whole process without shortcuts. Not all the time, of course. I'm, I'm not saying go climb Mount Everest without any gear. But I'm just saying seek a challenge, do something a little bit harder between all the easy things that we do every day. This life is so full of comfort, we just forget what discomfort is. Discomfort is something that we do not know anymore, but it's one of those things that can give meaning and structure to whatever we have around us. Seek discomfort, seek challenges, 
Today I'm gonna take a leap. I'm gonna do something different. I will officially embrace my passion for photography on this channel. I never wanted to be the one talking about photographies and gears and I'm not gonna be that one but I will take you along my creative journey because it's part of who I am. Even if I'm up here, even if I will tell you about the house and all the things we do. But this is part of me and I just pushed it aside for so long and now that Lucy is missing, I I somehow feel I hold to her. If you followed this video this far, know that it means the world to me. And I really hope it's the last push that gets you forward in following your dreams, in following the things that you want. Because we just hold back, we always hold back something. And sometimes you just pretend that life is fine as it is. I been trying to numb my senses lately I just didn't want to feel anything and I filled my days with things and I was writing I would do things I would <laughs> cook and clean and fix things and then I just remember that the only thing I was always doing with her was walking in my forest in silence and I went back to that and that's the best thing anyone can do just get back to your true self. Follow your passion. Pursue your dreams. Nobody is watching. We'll do it for ourselves. These are the things that fill up our days, that gives meaning to our days. My heart feels so empty without her. But when I'm here in my forest with my old camera, I can feel her near. And this is the way I will celebrate her and everything she gave us in the last 12 years. I'm gonna feel her, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find her in the space left by the light, in the slow process of remembering who I am. That way I will remember her as well. Give meaning to the things you do. Think, and then think again. Do it for yourself.